break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see show you guys because it's not cute. I'm gonna sit down on one of these lawn chairs because that is all that we have to sit on other than these chairs right here. <laughs> like literally everything is gone. Gone. And then our mattress is about to be gone today. of my coffees so I usually spill it out and just make a new one I don't like reheating them so we're making a new one and we're gonna add some pumpkin pie syrup to it I found it on Amazon and my mind is already there I'm definitely like already in my fall mode like I'm not ready for the cold but I don't know what it is I just I'm there I'm already there I'm gonna add some cinnamon oh a little bit too much cheers in the RV now, such a cute angle, I know. I'm trying to pick out what to wear. I'm having my daughter bring me my <laughs> old navy jeans. I left them in the house. I think I'm gonna wear those and I actually have to return the other old navy pair. They had a sale where they had jeans on sale for $18. I think one, I, one of them I got for $18, the other one I got for $20. I actually paid $2 for everything because I have old navy rewards. So the two pairs of jeans came out to $20, but one of them I don't like how it fits. And then I ordered some jeans from Zara I was for sure for certain that I, you know, nailed the size and everything. I watched like 10 YouTube videos, probably even 15, read some Reddit threads, talked to some friends that have Zara jeans, and I was like, all right, I, 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 I canceled my first order because I got them initially, I'm a size 27 waist, so I got them in a size 27, and I was like, oh no, these are going to be too small, and then the website description even said these jeans run small, something like that, on the Zara website, so I was like, oh, junk, like, I don't want them to be too tight, and they're $50, they're not cheap, so I canceled that order, since it's all, it was only a few hours, and then went on a hunt to find the right size, read a bunch of reviews, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna get a 28, I feel like a 28 is perfect. I definitely should have stuck with the 27, because the 28 is way too loose for the look that I'm going for. I'll show you guys in the house, they were the Z1... 195 something like that the mom fit jeans and they're really nice jeans love the material but they are just the fit is it's not my size and it just throws the whole fit off these are the old navy ones right here i got them in a size four which is like my usual size and i will say old navy they kind of run big for the most part kind of ish compared to most brands like for h&m i usually cannot get away with a four anymore i'm a size six and even then sometimes a size six is kind of tight in the waist for H&M, H&M I feel like it's like Zara, they're kind of all over the place. But I got these at Old Navy for, I guess they were a dollar, but technically they were like $18. They have the cut off hem on the bottom. They're like a straight jean, they're not skinny, but they're not too straight, not too loose. So they're exactly what I was looking for. I'm just not crazy about the stretchiness of it. This is why I really wanted the Zara jeans. Because the Zara jeans are more of like a Levi. They're very stiff. They're not thick jean material because I do have some thick jeans from H&M where they're like, they're just thick and heavy. The Zara mom fit jeans were, they were still thin, but they were not stretchy. They were just like that real jean material. Whereas these, they're not bad, but I'm just, I don't really like 
the stretchy jeans when it comes to straight or wide legs. I like the stretchy jeans when it comes to skinny jeans, but not for this fit in particular, but not bad. I'm gonna put some Redken Acid Acidic Bonding Concentrate. This is the leave-in treatment. It's part of their new line. I'm, my feel is that it's similar to Olaplex. I have their pre-wash treatment where you leave it in damp hair for five, 10 minutes. I've been trying it out and still kind of like feeling it out. I also switched to a different shampoo. I've tried so many shampoos at this point. I've tried Way Hair Care, Orbe, and then I tried like the salon ones. There's like Joico. I really like Joico. Joico has some really nice products. I think Redken is a good line as well. I tried Purology, and I, Way I loved at first just because it's just so such nice packaging, all that good stuff. Look at all this hair that I don't know if you can see. It's like I've been shedding like a dog lately but that's kind of why I wanted to switch shampoos because I took out my tape and extensions and it takes a little bit to get used to how how thin how much thinner your hair is when you take out the tape and extensions and I just don't feel like Way was doing anything for my hair. I used it the entire time I had the tape pins in and when I took out the tape pins I noticed my hair was just like super dry like my hair grew out this much but the ends felt so damaged they just didn't feel healthy healthy and I wasn't even using hot tools as much since I had tape-ins in. I wasn't like messing with my hair too much. So I just felt, and I've been using Way for quite some time. So I do think it's, for me personally, it's kind of like an overpriced celebrity hair care line. I do love their volume spray. I think it's really great. I just feel like they're so scented. And I don't like when products are too heavily scented. Like even this one has pretty, like all salon products and all most hair products will be very scented or products in general like we are just bombarded with scents so i went amazon and i was gonna try poofy organics i love poofy organics lash products i think they're really good so sharon recommended their hair shampoo she said she really noticed a lot of less shedding i'm actually gonna get ready as i'm talking and my skin has been freaking out lately it's just i think it's the moving we are moving and i'm just so over it would not recommend unless you absolutely have to i do not I do not enjoy moving i gotta want to sound like a negative nancy but that's kind of how i've been feeling lately so i don't know and i haven't i feel like it just your life is so different when you're moving like the whole process it's just you're literally uprooting everything and moving for a little extra coverage i'm gonna use the derma blend cc cream this stuff it's a cc cream but it's like pretty high coverage so i've been on the lookout for a different shampoo one that has like very simple ingredients it's not too scented and then i found om botanical on amazon it seemed like it had really great ingredients as you guys saw by the ingredients list i'll pop it in here again if i don't forget it takes a little bit to get used to because it doesn't lather it has soap nuts which are they look like a shriveled acorn i actually had a brand send me a soap nut once because there's another brand on amazon that uses soap nuts and they are essentially a nut that when you put it in between your palms and wet it it like lathers so really cool concept and i thought i would give it a try i'm kind of leaning that way with most of my products lately kind of like the more i know that's not for everyone but kind of leaning more towards simple ingredients that are not too heavily fragranced certain things like for skincare i still like my synthetic like synthetic peptides and stuff like that i don't know still using those but um everybody's on a different path in life that's just kind of where i'm at so i'm trying the shampoo out it smells nice my hair feels clean it doesn't feel stripped it just takes a little bit to get used to and i feel like Hair products don't have to be, you know, have crazy amounts of ingredients to be effective. I just need them to do their job without making my hair worse, which is what I felt like Way was doing. I felt like it made my hair worse, so I completely stopped using Way Hair Care. But today, I thought I would take you guys along my day. I'm gonna finish my makeup and then show you guys those Zara jeans, what they look like. I have to run to the post office and return those. I have to pick up a Walmart order. I ordered some stuff, kids' clothes for pickup they have some really cute jackets and then I ordered I mainly ordered because I needed to remove these nails so these nails are from the brand BT art box I did a reels on them they look they're just super fun kind of like a last hurrah for summer they are press on nails I've just been really liking press on nails I feel like you can really change up your manicure every single week the only thing is I don't like removing them so someone recommended a nail off glue so I ordered it on Walmart pickup. They didn't have it for pickup, but they shipped it to my house today. So I placed the order yesterday for pickup. And they're like, sorry, this item is not available for pickup, but we can ship it to you for free the next day. So I don't know, it's weird. So I came in this morning 
this nail off glue right here and I'm gonna give it a try and just see, it's called glue off, glue off, nail off, same thing. BT Artbox did send me a bunch of other really cute nail designs. They sell them on Amazon or on their website and I think right now these are on sale for like $9.90 something, under $10. And they look, they are thinner on the thinner side, so you're not going to open a can with these. And you might have to reinforce them with like a top coat, but because they're matte, you might mess with the look of them. Because the tip is glossy, but the base is matte. But they have really cute designs, very affordable, so I thought I would share. There's this one, it's like a black French tip. These are a little bit on the thinner side as well. And then there's these, which would be really fun for fall time. They're like a bunch of different coffee mocha colors, cappuccino colors. Love that. And they're not too long, so they're great for functioning every single day. And these are completely matte. So if you have a matte gel top coat, you can put it on top and really reinforce the nail and make it stronger. Then there's these right here. These are thicker. These are more of like an acrylic dip thickness. Like if you got dip done, these are that same thickness. So I do like that. They're this ombre square style. So I thought these were really nice as well. And those are thicker. I guess it just depends on the style. And then these are just so fun for like the last little bits of summer. I thought I would share because they're really affordable. And I don't know, I've just been really liking press-on nails. They're easy to do, super quick. The only thing is like removal. So I'll usually like peel them off and I ruin my own nails. I tried soaking them in like hot water for 10 minutes, but the other set I had on just would not budge. So I asked someone and they recommended the nail off, the glue off nail remover from Kiss. And on Amazon, I think it was like double the price because it wasn't prime, wouldn't come in on time. We're gonna be leaving for our first RV trip. And I think we're planning to just leave from there and just kind of continue traveling. So we're just not gonna be coming back here, I don't think, not that we plan to. We haven't closed yet, so that's why I haven't really announced anything because I'm telling you anything can happen with closing. I've heard like some crazy stories, but we are in the process of moving and it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. <laughs> everything fit in the RV, like literally everything. The only thing I'm struggling with is we have all these kind of like doomsday pantry essentials in our basement. I mean, a lot of stuff is good to have like canned corn and I have all these diced tomatoes for like making soup ready to go. Stuff like that. And then like canned soups, like good ones, like from Amy's soups. Those are pretty good. So we have a lot of stuff like that. But it's just a matter of like, I have no space in the RV for them. So I'm like, why did we buy them? Why? Why? Fun times. Fun times. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. It's just how I'm feeling right now. I always tell myself like, you have to allow yourself to feel the emotions like I'm not into toxic positivity of like you know everything's okay like it will be okay it will most definitely be okay and this is the least of people's problems or my problems there's much bigger things going on in the world but I think you have to get to that point you have to allow yourself to feel like this is how I'm feeling yes I'm frustrated why are you frustrated like feel the emotions and then move on to um you know but it's fine like it's gonna be okay there are bigger problems in the world it's gonna be fine it's gonna be okay like you need to get there you need to feel your emotions okay this battery's dying too so i'll probably see you guys in the house this is the only mirror we have in the house but this is a full length view of the old navy jeans so you can see they're like not a skinny jean and not a straight jean these are the zara mom fit jeans and i would have kept them if this was a look that i was going for but it's not i wanted them to be a little bit more fitted like i feel like there's just so much extra material and they look a little bit frumpy on me especially like in the back i don't know this is a 28 inch waist so i feel like a 27 would be just snug enough where hopefully it's not digging in i don't know i love the jean material and i love the color and uh, these are like a little bit too frumpy for my liking so i'm gonna return these just kidding changed into shorts because it's way too hot today for jeans it's gonna be like 80 degrees cute my husband needed to return a bunch of stuff too or like run errands so we decided to go all together as a family drop the kids off at my mom's house but i just picked up my walmart order so let me show you what i got for the kids let me set my camera up i ordered a nail file also it was supposed to be here probably fell down i don't know new york doesn't do plastic bags anymore so you just kind of like dump everything in your car or if you have a bag you can tell them to put it in a bag these were really cute. I got this for my son. It's like a jegging material, but it's still a jean. 
my son needed some new jeans, so these were nice. I think they were like $10 or something. And then I got a pair for my daughter, also from Wonder Nation, in like this white wash. And then these are the jackets. So for my daughter and both of my daughters, I got the same one, just different color, different size. They're a thinner material. They're like very, they're perfect for fall because they're not too thick. They have this quilted look to them. And these have a hood in particular. They're a little expensive. For kid stuff, I would say it's a little pricey. It's $25 per jacket. But I thought it was really cute. And it has like this rounded hem at the end. They have pockets and they have a hood. And I got the same one for my younger daughter, but I got in this vintage pink color. It's actually called vintage pink. And then for my son, I found this one. It doesn't have a hood, but it's like that similar quilted pattern, really pretty camel color. And this one was also $25. And then I also found this adorable shacket. For girls, I got it for my older daughter. They didn't have the size for my younger daughter. It wouldn't, it wasn't available for pickup, but it was available for delivery. This one was $19, and it also comes in like a pure, very light, creamy tan color. So it has two different options, but I thought that was really cute. So that's what I picked up at Walmart. I mainly just wanted the nail glue, and then I saw, just, and then I decided, you know, let me check and see. Oh, this one has a zipper if they have kids jackets because I've been needing some for the kids. Running the last errand, my husband went inside the post office to drop off the packages and to change your address temporarily, so like forward to a new address. And then I think we're gonna stop by or I'm gonna walk in and grab some coffee at a local coffee shop. They roast their own coffee beans, all that good stuff because I feel like this is gonna be the last time that I'm able to walk into that coffee shop because we're gonna move and then who knows when the next time we're gonna be here. Had some groceries to grab, got that, got my pumpkin spice, everything nice latte. And now I'm gonna go pick up the kids and finally go home. Put away all the groceries, everything has its place. This box right here, I'm gonna bring in the RV just because we're slowly storing everything into the RV right now. So it's like pantry stuff, pancake mix, pasta, all that stuff. So I'm gonna bring that in the RV. Like stuff for the fridge, fruits, things like that. I kept in the house and I figured while I'm in the RV I'm gonna change out these nails because they are ready to go. It's been about a week. They are holding on super tight, but some of them are already they've been bent so much that they're kind of a little bit like deformed at the tips and they're getting a little bit soft. So this is why I say it's probably best to use a top coat with these because I do really really like them. I just wish they were a little bit more sturdy. Well, I mean for $10 I'm not mad but just took some beef liver capsules right here. They say that beef liver is kind of like nature's multivitamin. I can't imagine eating beef liver right now so beef liver supplements are the next best thing. And I also read that for people, yeah you can try, for people that like to start off slow because they can cause bloating. I took a break, started them up again, I noticed I started getting bloating a lot more, like gassiness, bloating, and then a lot of breakouts. They say acne and breakouts can happen if you kind of are new to beef liver supplements. So I was like, hmm, that's interesting. Maybe it's not stress and moving and all this stuff and it's just the beef liver capsule. So I'm gonna start slow. I'm gonna do like two a day instead of four a day. Maybe even go down to one a day and take it one step at a time. But shoot, I was gonna say something. I don't remember. I remembered what I wanted to say. I was gonna say if you guys have an Aldi, they have pumpkin fall stuff now. So they have this pumpkin butternut squash pasta sauce. Sounds so good. And then fall shake pasta. Air conditioner might come on and off. It is toasty outside. This might be like the last clip of this vlog. I'm gonna do my nails and try out this glue off. There goes these flies. I cannot stand them. Apply a long cuticle. Oh my goodness, it's like drips right now. <laughs> Apply a long cuticle. Mm, it doesn't really smell too bad. Okay, this isn't really dissolving much. Maybe it is? No, oh, I mean it is dissolving the nail. It's peeling, but not really how I envisioned this would go in my head. This is the hot mess express of the situation I have going on here. Not how I thought they would come off, but I guess because these are maybe thinner and they're like super flexible. I mean this one at this point is like just ready to go. These I'm still working on, so what I'm doing is I used a wood dowel, applied this, and then lift around the edge, squeeze some more in there, and I would uh, work in sections. If you have more of a sturdier nail like this, I feel like it would kind of lift off in one piece, but because this is a thinner nail, it's coming off in sections, but I guess it beats 
peeling them off with your own natural nail. I'm going to take these off and then apply these right here because these are a thicker nail. They're pretty thick and sturdy and I want something sturdy for the whole moving process. And yes, yeah, so we're going to try these out. I'm going to put them on, show them what it looks like. Be right back. So like hydrating cure pearls is super important. And voila, you have yourself. I would say it takes 20 minutes or so to do your own nails at home. So many different designs, super fun. Thanks for watching. I'll link anything I talked about down below and see you guys in future videos.